We expect more and more states to continue to be approved for funding and to start giving out funding as well. That part has really picked up in a lot of states. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. Huge news, $1.2 billion in new SSBCI funding has been approved for several states, including one of the largest states in the country. As of today, nearly every state now has been approved for SSBCI funding. It's an amazing opportunity if you are an entrepreneur or a small business owner and you could still use extra funding options. So in this quick video, I'll tell you the new states that have been approved, what you can do today to prepare for SSBCI funding and what options exist for you as always. Thanks so much for tuning in and subscribing. And don't forget, if you care about funding and growing your business, number one, go download our free app. It's in the App Store and Google Play. Just search Skip or Hello Skip and you'll find it or use the links right below. And number two, if you want help from our team applying for funding or getting funding ready, go to helloskip.com slash join. So let me talk about the new $1.2 billion that has been approved. 48 states and territories have now been approved for SSBCI funding. And if you go to helloskip.com slash SSBCI, you can get to this post and see all the details, including detailed posts for each state and how to prepare for this funding. As a quick recap, the State Small Business Credit Initiative is $10 billion that the federal government has been giving out to states, who in turn gives this out to entrepreneurs and small businesses through one of these types of programs, either through venture capital, through low interest loans, through a loan guarantee program, collateral support, or capital access programs. A lot of the ones that we've seen live have been the loan participation programs. So first up, the Treasury announced $353.4 million was approved in four states. This was an announcement last week. This included Delaware, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Wyoming. Delaware was approved for up to $60.9 million. They'll operate four programs, capital access program, loan participation program, and two equity venture capital programs. Kentucky was approved for up to $117.1 million, and they'll operate four programs as well, one loan participation program, one collateral support program, and two equity venture capital programs. Tennessee was approved for $116.9 million, virtually the same as Kentucky. They'll operate four programs as well, a loan participation program and three venture capital programs. And finally, from this announcement, before I switch gears to the major state that has just been approved, Wyoming was approved for $58.4 million. They'll operate two equity venture capital programs. And again, if you want to find your state, because virtually every state has been approved now, go to helloskip.com slash SSBCI. While I've compared this to the EIDL program, this is a lot more work. So a lot of people may be intimidated by this funding. For example, many of the lenders participating will require you to have a business plan. They'll want to see detailed financials, P&L, bank statements, and a few other documents related to your business and related to your personal financial statements as well. So there's a little bit of prep work. I don't want this to dissuade anyone. We've been helping hundreds and hundreds of folks get ready and apply for SSBCI funding. And finally, the latest announcement from a few days ago, the Treasury announced approval of up to $890 million for these three states, New Jersey, Texas, and Washington. Here are the brief details. New Jersey approved for $255.1 million. They'll operate six programs, loan guarantee, two loan participation programs, and three equity venture capital programs. Texas was approved for up to $472 million. They'll operate two programs, a capital access program and a loan guarantee program. And finally, Washington was approved for up to $163.4 million. They'll operate five programs, collateral support, three loan participation programs, and an equity venture capital program. It's amazing to see this program change. Here's a map from last October that showed what states were approved. And I said then, as I've been saying every single month since then, we expect more and more states to continue to be approved for funding and to start giving out funding as well. That part has really picked up in a lot of states and I expect it to continue. Now, nearly every state and territory has SSBCI funding approved. It is limited funding. So again, if you want to explore this option, you could use extra money. Maybe you can't get loans elsewhere. Maybe you don't want to go through private lenders. Maybe you were turned down from an SBA 7A loan, or you just want to explore your options. Helloskip.com slash SSBCI. There's even options to get help there. And before you go, enjoy the weekend. Would love to hear in the comments 
Are you planning on applying for SS BCI funding? Have you applied for funding yet this year? And if you want, share what's on your mind as a business owner. I love hearing that. I'm going to answer a lot of comments over the weekend. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.